whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimal Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold Just trying to make a way In my race against time I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros uh, is Usyk still underrated after beating Anthony Joshua? There are a lot of people still questioning uh, the legitimacy of Usyk's victory. There are a lot of people still feeling like Joshua's going to rectify this in the rematch. And even Tyson Fury himself dismisses Usyk as a little middleweight guy who went up and, and got the title. So I'm asking, is the boxing world still disrespecting Alexander Usyk going in a lot of people didn't give him a chance and felt like he was going to be easy work for AJ he wins the fight and it still feels like people aren't taking him as a legitimate threat to become undisputed champion so I'm asking is the boxing world underrated Alexander Usyk I'm gonna turn over to you Troy Dollar Bill what's your reaction to that yes 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 like I said this before, if you go what pick the AJ prediction fight, I picked AJ to win that fight, right? Because I thought that his size would be the problem, the size and power. But what I say in that, I said if he beats uh, Alexander Usyk, then you have to give him credit as being one of the top greats, one of the greats, because how good Alexander Usyk really is. He's special. And I said he was special. And I said if AJ beats him, he deserves all the credit in the world. But he didn't. Usyk proved everything I've been saying about this guy. His feet work, his punch selection. He's a marvel. You know, is he still underrated after beating Joshua? He never was. And he never should have been underrated he proved himself time and time again and if you don't respect Usyk it's all right he gonna take it you don't have to respect him he gonna take his respect you know what I'm saying and that's what he's been doing so shout out to Alexander Usyk keep doing what you're doing uh and learning and perfecting because this is every time you hear him you talk about learning new things that's how you know somebody is special He's already super talented and he's still talking about learning new things. Man, Usyk is the man. All right. Conspiracy. G. Yeah. Um, is he underrated after being Joshua? Yeah. All right. This is, this is where I think his, the criticism is coming from. It's not necessarily his performance. It's a lack of performance from Joshua. So AJ's performance was so shocking to people that it's like, this ain't the same AJ that we know. But my counter to that would be, there's a reason why AJ didn't look the same. Because Usyk made it so difficult for AJ to tee off on him. So to, to think he's still underrated, I don't know. I have to be honest, man. Y'all are bugging. You know, <laughs> like before that fight, sure. You know, because he didn't necessarily do much in the heavyweight division. And his fight against uh, Chisora, he didn't look like he could really take punches like like a heavyweight should. You know, the way he was moving every time uh, Chisora would throw a hook at him. So, in my mind, I was thinking, he doesn't belong in the heavyweight division. AJ's definitely going to clean him up. But in that AJ fight, he showed angles. His IQ was just so vast that it was tough for AJ just to even, like, land a clean shot on him. And the way Usyk throws punches from different angles, like awkward angles at that, that I understood why AJ was so frustrated because you could watch and then put yourself in AJ's shoes. AJ's never fought a guy with that type of skill. Like, in his whole professional career, we have yet to see a guy uh, in comparison to Usyk that AJ has fought that you could be like, okay, you know what? AJ's been here before. This is new territory for both gentlemen, you know. And Usyk, you know, he he came to to he came to task, and I think that was just too much for AJ at the time. Now maybe now that AJ could process the fight and everything, 
they'll have like a strategy, a game plan for the next one for the rematch. But to say that Usyk is still underrated, I don't know, man. Put some respect on Usyk's name. All right, Ned the TVE. Nah, I don't believe Usyk's underrated at all. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like five years ago, when I I, I could have sworn I saw this topic. Like Usyk was going push, he's, he's moving towards the heavyweight division. And I was like, ah, come on, this guy, he got like I, I was I was naive. I was young and naive, and I was like, there's no way this guy could beat up AJ. AJ got the power, the strength, and the skill. Wilder got the power, the strength, and skill. All the heavyweights got the power, the strength, and skill to beat up this cruiserweight. But what I saw from his last performance is like he has the IQ, he has the skill. It's more of are we willing are you willing to take it to this man to fight? Are you willing to fight for your life at this moment? Your longevity, your livelihood. Everything's on the table. All we're all in on this fight. If you're not willing to fight all in with Usyk, you're not willing to win. Because Usyk is going to come prepared for everything you throw at him. He's like, it, it's, for me, it's more of the punishment that you're willing to give this man. That Can he withstand the punishment? But Usyk is not underrated. He is a he's he's a heavyweight at this point. Usyk, Usyk is a fighter. He's a boxer. He is that guy. And I respect that, what he does. And I, 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 learned, I learned to expect him. He's not Ukrainian soup. He's not, he's not no slouch. He's, he, he's a solidified fighter. And Usyk, hats off if I had one on. And respect to you, man. Um, You know, to start out the gate, I think in many ways he is still underrated. Um, You can review the tapes. I've always said that Usyk's skill set is – you know, second to none. And if it's second to anyone, it might be Vasily Lomachenko in terms of what he's able to do in a boxing ring. Um, I always thought that his issue was going to be to overcome the size of the elite fighters like uh, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Not that I would consider while the elite in terms of skill, in terms of skill set, but he has tremendous size. And it's, it's more difficult when you give up a lot in size, but Usyk's skill set could make up for it. Oh, I think, you know, in given the predictions, I never thought that Joshua would win a boxing match against Usyk. That's why my prediction was he would stop him late. Um, if it went 12 rounds, which I couldn't foresee at the time, then I would have said Usyk wins the fight. But what Usyk was able to do was something that I didn't foresee either. He was able to hurt Joshua and he hurt Joshua several times and so for that reason, you know, Usyk was able to defend himself, keep him off of him. I, I do think that Joshua probably, and I do believe he did, fought the wrong style fight, but that doesn't take away from what Usyk accomplished. It still was a very highly skilled fight from both gentlemen. It wasn't like Joshua looked like a slouch in there. Even against Usyk, Joshua did a lot of things in that ring that I'm not sure any other heavyweight could have done against Usyk except him. Like and you got to look at Usyk's track record. He's 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 beating guys and beating guys handily. Like you you got to say, I think Breedis gave him a, a really tough fight, a really close fight, and Anthony Joshua gave him a tough fight until the last two rounds. So to just sit there and look at what Joshua did against Usyk, you got to look at the guy he was in the ring with, and that and therein lies the reason why I think that Usyk is underrated. Because even us and even myself, I'm saying, yo, this is the stuff Joshua needs to do. I didn't see this Joshua, right? But what if it's just you can't do that with Usyk? What if it's just he's just so good he takes it all away from you? You know, and, and maybe it's still something we're not seeing. The guy's a proven winner on every level. All he does is win. You know what I'm saying? DJ Khaled just performed at uh, the All-Star game and he brought out Luda. You know, and and, 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 and and you know, that's that song describes Usyk. All he does is win. That's all he does. Should have brought out Usyk. <laughs> no, Usyk should have came <laughs> up. <laughs> and, no, he rap, and rapped in Ukraine. He just, yeah, <laughs> I, just, I don't know if Usyk would have spit the verse, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, but the truth of the matter is uh, – Usyk is really that talented, man. And 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 you got to give it up to him. He always finds a way to win. 
He's rarely in a close fight. Joshua made that that fight very close. So for all the criticism Josh was receiving, you know, he still was in that fight. Now, I'd say this. If he beats Usyk, now everyone sees what we were saying from the beginning. Because I remember it wasn't really a universally... Nobody shared this universally. It was more like a small group of people who felt like if AJ beat Usyk, he was going to prove a lot. He was actually going to prove greatness by being Usyk because Usyk's that talented. And a lot of people felt like, oh, no, nah, y'all just trying to gas up Usyk to give AJ a boost on a resume. Well, what about now? Exactly. You see what we see, what, what, what we were saying? Like, this guy's really the real deal. So, again, it stands that if AJ beats Usyk, that is a hell of impressive victory that, again, only proves how great Anthony Joshua is. And even if he loses, again, he should just be saluted for having the courage to take that fight instead of dropping the belts. Because game recognized game, and boxers recognized the real. And one person who knew that fight was dangerous going into it was Anthony Joshua. Troy, you, you got something? No, and I just wanted to say, you always mention this, and people have a habit of doing this in our comment section, saying this person will beat this person, and this is, we don't give credit for victory fights that ain't never happened. You can't say that this heavyweight will beat Usyk or this heavyweight. Oh, Fury will kill Usyk. You don't know until that fight happens. Because Usyk is that talented, and I think he frustrates all these guys. That's what I was adding, bro. Uh, and just to jump in on that, people were saying that AJ was going to clean him out. Mm -hmm. So you can never really go off of that, which brings me to the other point that my last point that I was actually going to make, Trill, about um, – why I still think Usyk is underrated because nobody's giving him a chance against Fury now. <laughs> Nobody gave him a chance against AJ. And now when they talk about Usyk versus Fury, nobody's even really considering Usyk as a threat to beat Fury. So I still do think he's underrated and I still do think he's fighting for his respect in the heavyweight division. I think if you announce Usyk versus Fury tomorrow, he's going to be a huge underdog. And there's going to be a lot of people who are just like, oh, Fury size, Fury this, Fury that, Fury this. And overlooking Usyk. But I'm telling y'all right now, don't be surprised if the last man standing is that dude from the Ukraine. And let me just tell you, if he is the last man standing, he's automatically one of the all-time greatest fighters that ever laced up a pair of gloves, top five ever. Please let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know you're rocking with the truth. It's the boxing door. Yo, if Usyk becomes undisputed in 21 fights, 